Right, so as some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of Marvel. Uh, I've got a load of Marvel Funko Pops. Most of my Funko Pops that I have behind me are Marvel themed, so I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of Marvel. Um, so I thought we'd sit down together um, and we will rank every single movie and every single series, uh, TV series that have written um, Disney Plus that they've done. Um, let's just let's go. Right, so we've got the first Captain America film. Um, I it was it's goat. Um, I I've got really nothing bad to say about it because it was it was just brilliant, like absolutely just like faultless. Like um, it was nice seeing um, Chris Evans for the first time as Captain America and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, next one, uh, Captain Marvel. Um, I think it could be better. It could be a lot better. Um, I, I, I think I think that film could definitely be a lot better. Um, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't. It was watchable. I, I, I enjoyed it, but the kind of um, the vibe that everyone had online when it came out was a little bit kind of hit and miss. Now we got Iron Man, the first Iron Man, which is going to be top of goats. Um, it is hands down one of my favorite Marvel films. Um, you can't beat it. It's the. It was the first Marvel film to 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 to, uh, to be released. And was pretty much what Marvel was built on. Um, without Iron Man, there would have there would be no Marvel that we know today. So I feel like Iron Man One should should be top of goat because without that film, there is no Marvel. Um, well, as as it is today, uh, Iron Man Two um, in good, not as good as the first one, um, but I still very much enjoyed um, the kind of characters kind of growth. Of Tony Stark throughout all, all, all three Iron Man films have like a really good character growth for um, Iron Man. Uh, she got the the Hulk film. Um, it was it was okay. It, it wasn't it wasn't anything to write home about. Um, I enjoyed it, um, but I feel like you know it would be nice to have a, a another Hulk film at some point. That would be quite nice to see. Uh, Thor. I think it was okay. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of the fact that they dyed his eyebrows, um, blonde. Um, I think it's the only film that he has blonde eyebrows, but he just looked a bit off. But it was, it, it was still a, it was still a, um, very good film. I very much enjoyed it. Um, it was the first look at Thor and of Loki as well, which was, uh, nice to see. <sighs> okay, next one, we got, uh, the first Avengers film. That's going in GOAT. I don't even care what you say. I loved it. Um, it was a brilliant. It was the first team up film we had, um, and it basically set the stage for you know the upcoming Avengers films like Endgame, Age of Ultron. Like it was, it was just brilliant. It was nice seeing them all work together. Um, it was just overall just a nice experience to watch. Um, um, yeah, Iron Man three. Um, I'm gonna put that in top of okay. Um, is because it's not as good. Obviously, the first one's so much better. The second one's better. The third one, it was nice seeing all the suits. It was nice seeing kind of Tony sort of like dealing with his sort of stuff in in the way he, he did with all the suits and stuff. Dark World, um, but that good uh, because I very much enjoyed it. I enjoyed the second one more than the first one. So this is basically this is how I feel about them. I know you might have your own different um, thoughts on them, but if you do, let me know down in the comments. Um, I do like listening to your guys' ranks and see what you guys think. Uh, so now we have um, Captain America, Winter Soldier. Um, top of good. Um, loved it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, literally can't filter. I, I, I like the shield change as well. We went from red and blue to um, I think blue and silver, I think, in this one. It's like a more like dark, dark mode kind of vibe. I very much liked it. Very much, very much liked it. Uh, the first Guardians, um, good. Again, can't fault it. Um, I still feel like the second one is better, um, and the third one's better. But overall, I think I think it was it was it was like absolutely brilliant. Um, they got all the characters right, they got the settings right, they got the CG. It was just again just brilliant. So we got the I'm Groot show. Um, that was that was okay. Um, no, that was good. I'm putting that in good because I very much enjoyed um enjoyed it. It was it was it was very, very I Groot is probably is one of my favourite characters. Groot and Doctor Strange and Loki are my top three. Um 
we got Guardians Volume 2. Uh, that's going goat, obviously. Um, the dancing at the beginning with uh, with Baby Groot is just the best opening to a Marvel film we've ever had. Um, you, I, I just can't filter it. It's just completely just... Mwah, I love it. Uh, Age of Ultron, uh, Goat again as another Marvel team up, which I feel was completely well earned. It was like the build up was good. Um, so overall, it was just it was just. Uh, it I very much enjoy these sort of like team up. I, I do like the standalone character films where we meet the characters and we kind of. But when it when they all come together in this, this big kind of build up, this big kind of like team up film. Ah, uh, I love it. Um, so we got Ant Man. It was okay. I'm not really a huge fan of the Ant Man um, films, but overall, I, I enjoyed it. It was a good watch. Um, it was it was funny. It was it ticked all the boxes for me. But I I don't know. I felt we have got better films in the MCU in general. Um, yeah, um, Civil War that is going um, goat uh, because it was it it was nice to see. The characters that we spent the last uh, 10 years with actually have a kind of friction within the team rather than it being like an outs thing. It was it was it was nice. It was fresh um, for me anyway. Um, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, Black Widow. Uh, no. Um, I feel like the film came too late because it came after Endgame um, after the character had died. So it's but like don't really care now because she's dead um but other, but other than that it was a it was an okay film the cgi was a little bit kind of it, it it got it got hindered by the um pandemic i think um it definitely got sort of affected by by that with the cgi was a bit off in general um yeah uh black panther um good um because i uh, uh, this one and the second one absolutely brilliant film um Loved it. Loved every second of it. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming. It was okay. Um, I feel like Tom Holland was still sort of like finding his finding his footing as, as in the role. Um, and I enjoyed it. it. It was nice sort of seeing Spider-Man with Iron Man and kind of everything else. It, 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 it was nice. Um, yeah. Can't really say much about that. Doctor Strange. Um, I'm going to put it there, I think. Above Iron Man 2. Um, it was nice seeing um, Doctor Strange as he is one of my favourite characters. So it was nice seeing him on the uh, big screen. Um, but I think overall, yeah, it was nice. The villain was good. Um, they introduced one of the um, time st uh, the uh, Infinity Stones, which was quite nice. Um, yeah, liked it. Good. I'm on the Wasp. Um, <laughs> Bottom of good. Okay. Uh, again, Ant Man. Not really a huge fan of Ant Man. Um, but I enjoyed the film. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about that. Uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. It was alright. Um, Thor Rat Ragnarok. Um, that's better than. I'll put it. I'll put it. Bottom of go. Because you honestly. <laughs> It's Thor Ragnarok, one of the best Thor films we've had. Um, it had it, it got everything right. The characters were good. The settings were right. The CGI. The, it was just flawless. Like I couldn't find a thing wrong with that film. Um, compared to the other Thors we've had, there have been issues, but like that one there, Chef's Kiss, me likey. Now we have got the two-parter, Infinity War and Endgame, and Infinity War at the top of goat because. It's I I I feel like uh, Infinity War gets forgotten about because of Endgame, but I feel like if you're watching if if you if you go back and watch Infinity like Endgame you have to start with Infinity War because it's the sort of overarching story of it. Um, and Marvel absolutely smashed it with Infinity War and Endgame. Absolutely, just they they knew what they were doing. They spent like the last what twenty years, whatever it is, building these characters, building this story. And it just, the climax was just perfect. So Endgame, Top of Goat. Because, again, that final fight, that final battle. Oh, my God. Being in the cinema. If, if, if you guys if you guys saw it in the cinema, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, then you, you missed out. Because, oh, my God. Being sat there, 
sat there in, in your seat with other Marvel fans around you. And then when the, the pool opens and they come through and everyone's screaming and shouting, it is just... Like, that's what cinema is. That's what people want. Um, and as a, and a, as, as a, as a huge Marvel fan, I, I absolutely, fully, fully enjoyed it. Um, it made it worth waiting because they made us wait a year between the Infinity War and Endgame, which was pretty, pretty mean. It was, it, it, it was pretty, pretty mean of them to do that, but it was so worth it, honestly. So, so worth it. Now, we're getting into the pandemic y kind of things where Disney Plus Dice has got some um, shows. A Loki show, um, I think that's GOAT. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the Loki show. Um, season two was just as good. Um, brilliant, absolutely just, I love it. Um, what if, um, was good. It was good. It was nice seeing, um, like sort of alternative kind of storylines to what we got. Um, would be nice to see, to see them actually, um, it would be nice seeing them with actual, like the characters, like live action, but it was nice. It was, it was just, it was nice. It was a nice change. I like the art style. It was, um, it, 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 it was good. It was, it was a nice, uh, thing. One division. Um, I think it was also was the goat. Um, I think that was the first. I think that was the first one we had. Um, again, it was brilliant. It's a brilliant con uh, concept. Um, Wonder as well, brilliant character. So, just overall, um, yeah. Falcon with Winter Soldier. I'm gonna put that in between there because I personally very much enjoyed it. It was nice seeing the negative side of the blip and of the events in Endgame and Infinity War. It was nice seeing how it affected other characters that we don't usually see very often and the normal kind of person. Um, it was nice. It was a nice change. Um, I, I, I like the sort of like kind of hemming and hawing over sort of um, who's going to be next Captain America and all the sort of like different things like that. It was just, it was just brilliant. <sighs> Eternals. Nope, I feel like it was there was too many too, too many plot points, too many characters for us to get out around, um, and it just it's not going anywhere. The, the film came out what in twenty twenty one, twenty twenty. Well, now in twenty twenty four, and we've not seen a single one of those characters reappear. Um, so, I I I enjoyed it personally, but I I no, uh, Shang Chi and the Seven Rings. Um, it was, it was, it was okay. Um, it was okay. Okay. He, he, he was a good, um, you know, quite a good character, quite a good villain. Um, the rings are quite interesting. Uh, be, um, I've, I think I'm pretty sure he is coming back at some point. There is, I think there's a second one coming. Um, so it'd be nice to see, to see him back with the rings and see what, see what else he could do. Um, cause we've not really seen a lot from him. So it'd be nice to see, uh, Shang-Chi back, uh, in like other films. Uh, we've got Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the second film to um, Black Panther. I'm going to put that above because, for me personally, I like how they dealt with the death. Um, it, it was nice. It was nice that they um, they included sort of like the death of Chadwick Boseman in the film, but this character... It, it, it was nice. It was, it was nice sort of like they used it as sort of like um, character growth and momentum for the story. Um, it was just, it was good. It was, um, I got very emotional at the beginning when it was the cold open and they had, they, 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 they did the funeral. It was all sad. It was just brilliant. Just literally, again, an, another brilliant, uh, Marvel, um, hit. <clears throat> Spider-Man, um, uh, Far From Home. Um, I think this was, this was probably one of the better Spider-Man, um, Tom Holland films. Um, yeah, good. Can't really, don't really say much to say. Don't know what else to say about it besides it was good. Um, I enjoyed it. Tick from me. Um, Spider Man F No Way Home. Um, I think it was good as well, but I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't as good as, um, it was better without knowing, I think. Um, spoilers if you've not seen this, um, but it came a few years ago, so you should have. Um, with uh, to Toby uh, Maguire and Andrew Garfield, um, it was better going into it not knowing they were going to be in it, and then going, holy fucking shit, they're in it. Because um, I remember I sat there, um, and the first portrait opened, and the Spider-Man came in, and I was like, 
it was it was the, 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 the room just exploded when Andrew when Andrew t- t- took his mask off, and then when and when um, Toby came through, it, the room just went mental. Because I watched it in IMAX, so it's the the the, the huge um, screen. There was loads of it. was full. I don't, I don't think there was a spare seat in there at all. Um, and everyone just went mental, just screaming, shouting. It, it was basically like Endgame, just Spider Man. It was it, it was it was brilliant. Oh, oh god! Doctor Strange. Uh, it was it was okay. It was it was um, it was completely fine. Um, CGI was off in places, but overall, I think it was good. I'm not a fan that they turned Wanda into a villain because Wanda's not a villain. Don't know why she turned into one, but hey, they did. Not really a fan of that. Um, Moon Knight, it was okay. Um, it wasn't really. Um, it was all right. It was quite a quite a long start because it was a lot to, a lot of information for them to get go through. Uh, but once we got into it, it was it was it was quite a nice watch. Uh, Hawkeye um, could be better. Um, but I feel like same with Black Widow, it came too late for the character. I know it introduced um, the uh, like a new Hawkeye, but I feel like Hawkeye is quite a boring character in general, and has you we've not really seen a lot from him in like at all. Uh, uh, Echo, I've never actually watched Echo. Um, I'm gonna be honest, um, I've not caught up with the new um, series yet. Um, I will though. I will go and watch it, but I feel like it's not fair to put it everywhere else because I've not watched it, so it's sitting there. Um, She-Hulk. If there was a bin option that's below, nope, I'd put it in there because I think She-Hulk is the worst Marvel Studio project they've ever released, and I'm standing by that because it was awful. Like the CGI was awful, the story was awful. The acting was a bit off. It just overall, it was like, why does this exist? Like, why does this... Why was this made? Who signed off on this? It was just shite. Um, didn't enjoy it at all. Um, I don't... I watched, I think, the first 20 minutes of the last episode. Then I, I came off because I was like, I can't, I can't. It was just too... It was too painful. Um, Miss Marvels. Um, I think it was... I, I, I personally enjoyed it. It was... Um, it was it was quite a it was it was different it was it was nice seeing kind of this sort of India kind of like vibes to it um, and uh, kind of the character as a whole was quite interesting um, yeah so I I didn't mind it I didn't mind it uh, Thor Love and Thunder could be better could be a lot better um, yeah I felt quite sort of like oh because I was still thinking like holy shit it's gonna be so good it's gonna be fucking just like Thor um, the third one Ragnarok but it just wasn't the jokes didn't land the cgi was off just overall the story just was just like and then at the ending well the kids got thor's power it's like why didn't he do that during end game everyone could have had the it would have just made there's a little, little plot holes little issues with it but again i enjoyed it it just could have been a little bit better werewolf not seen it i've um i'm not yeah i haven't seen it so um atman quantumania um could, could be better uh, again, Kang got defeated by ants, so Kang as the overarching villain for the entirety of the next uh, phase of Marvel. Doesn't look too good. He got de- defeated by ants, so sad face. Guardians Hol- Holiday Special, it was it was good. Um, I, I, I very much I enjoyed that. I, I did very much enjoy. Uh, it was nice seeing like a Christmas themed um, episode where the characters that I loved. It was it, it it was nice it was nice to see that and it linked in perfectly um, with um, the third Guardians which is now what we're which is going in goat because um, it made me cry like a baby when I watched it in the cinema um, just the way like the way Rocket was treated and the way they kind of like showed that was just brilliant. And I feel like they should they should have that villain of the has the overarching villain for um, the rest of like the phase because he was vile absolute there was no way you could kind of understand and kind of feel for the uh, villain the high um, evolution or whatever it isn't called um, yeah it was it was uh, I, I liked it it was it was good. Um, 
Secret Invasion. Um, oh, it's all right. I've not finished it, but from what I've seen, it's all right. Um, not the best, but it's all right. Uh, the Marvels, haven't watched it yet. Uh, it came out at the time when I wasn't really um, bothered about Marvel and going to the cinema. Because I think the same as like most fans of Marvel, like the new things are a little bit kind of like not really too bothered. But I have seen the trailer to the new Captain America film and I am fucking hyped for that. Hey, so there we go. There is my ranking of all the Marvel um, uh, films and series. Let me know if I've missed anything. Let me know what your ranking is. Uh, we can have a uh, uh, chat in the comments. Or you can join my Discord. Uh, link is also below. Um, you can chat um, on there uh, about your ranking. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. It's cold for summer night. I text you, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother, but figured I gotta try. And you say you're busy, but I don't believe you. It's keeping me up at night. The way my emotions keep turning around. Can keep it inside, no.